Diana, yummy. Bzz, 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 bzz. What is up? A bunch of bees here, and welcome back to another buggy episode of Card Unpacking. And on this very special episode of Card Unpacking, we'll be unpacking five Pokemon Go to the Pole Packs. Doesn't this look like a little dragonfly wing flapping in the wind? Also, I also just want to apologize for the audio being so inconsistent. I've been struggling with trying to find like a good balance and making sure everything's right. I got big ass ears though, so I don't know why I'm fucking up that one thing, which is audio balance. Anyways, if you couldn't tell, we're unpacking Pokemon Go, which is a set that came out in the ye old year of 2022. That being said, I'm now just getting to the set, but hey, at this pace, we'll be ready to open Scarlet and Violet packs in 2025. But that also being said, um, that's when Call of Duty Black Ops 2 takes place, so, uh, yeah. Really looking forward to, uh, getting Tomahawk chopped across the map, you know? It's gonna be a pretty sick kill cam. But also, what makes this card unpacking episode special is, I'll be unpacking some other things, like bugs. Yeah, I got some beetles today, well, technically not today, you'll see why. And I'll just be unpacking those little critters in between each card pack, so... This should be a pretty dope card unpacking, as well as I also got a terrarium I'm gonna unpack, which I'm pretty excited for too. On a side note, hopefully none of the uh, beetles died in transit, that would be very sad. I'd, I'd probably just break down on camera. So yeah, you better not be dead in there. Ha <laughs> ha, shaking the beetle, ha <laughs> ha. I'm just kidding, there was no beetle in that box. That's just my, um, one sec. <laughs> my dirt. And you all might be wondering why I have dirt. Um, it was for Chekolata, my old grub. Uh, yeah, you might have saw in the intro, but he passed away like a couple months ago. Sorry about that, guys. Haha. <laughs> Haha. This dirt smells like really familiar. It smells like, like cinnamon. I don't know why the fuck I'm smelling dirt. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, you little stupid little stupid bitch because it really helps it really helps the channel out hey it's um it's me in uh post editing um sorry for calling you guys bitches i i didn't mean to uh after having a sip of my iced coffee this morning i realized that was uh that was a little bit mean so sorry and if you don't end up liking and subscribing this video um subscribing oh. this video if you don't end up liking and subscribing um fuck it Scarab upon you, I guess. All right. So this is the part of the video where I'd be like, oh, uh, let's go unpack some cards now. But um, I'm actually recording this in advance. The Beatles haven't arrived yet. Um, <laughs> The Beatles. Fuck John Lennon. Fuck John Lennon. Anyways, where were we? Oh, yeah. Um, The Beatles. Yeah, they haven't arrived yet. It should be another two weeks. But I'm just recording this now. So when I do get the Beatles, like, I can just unpack them faster, not deal with this bullshit so uh yeah i'll see you guys in two weeks all right it's been about a week and my beetle finally arrived all right but before we open the beetles let's open one pack of pokemon go so what can I say about Pokemon Go? Uh, unfortunately, all the pack art is the same. There's only one. And uh, the cards we're trying to get right now are the Radiant cards. I think there's a Radiant Charizard, Blastoise, and um, Venusaur. I think that's the only Radiance you can get. And apparently there's like Ditto cards. Like if you peel them, they reveal that there's a Ditto behind them or whatever. So that's going to be really nice. And again, sorry for the uh, focusing issues. I'm still getting the hang of this new camera. I've had it for about a year now, but it's kind of confusing. Anyways, code card. And I did do my research ahead of time, so it's four to the front. One, two, three, four. Let's just throw this out. Uh, hopefully it's an energy. Let's see. Oh, I, <laughs> I fucked that up. Wait, one sec. Um, I... Uh, I, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, it's all fucked up. Fuck it. Um, I don't know what I did wrong there, but War Turtle, we got a Slowbro, just 
gazing onto the abyss. They got a Bidoof. Magikarp, nice 3D art there. I really like that. Um, we got an Apom. A Melton. A Squirtle. A Blanque. Or, and a Blissey. I don't think I mixed that right. Yeah. Anyways, this was supposed to be the... It was supposed to be like this. Whatever. <laughs> don't touch me, I'm sterile! Alright, here's the beetle you guys have been waiting for. Uh, in this box is a Lucanus Placidus Smooth Steak. Um, I already gave him a name. I named him Johnny Joestar after, um, you know, Johnny Joestar. He had like a bug biting fetish, so... I thought it was a suitable name for my uh, Smooth Steak Beetle. And, uh... Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully he's not dead. This package came two days ago and I, I didn't know, so he might be dead. So what do we got here? We got, um, oh, oh shit. Oh my God. Looks like I got two beetles, huh? Which is weird because my tank didn't arrive. So that might be an issue. I got two phones. Okay, so actually, uh, all three of my beetles arrived. Yeah, this is the uh, smooth stag. Um, as you can see, he's alive and kicking. Uh, <laughs> Hi, little guy. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci, goo. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be okay. He's just upside down. We'll uh, get him out there ASAP. Okay, so these were my uh, Eastern Rhinoceros beetles, I believe. Uh, I named them Cookie and Cream because uh, I thought it'd be cute. I have a female and a male in here. I uh, can barely see them. Uh, I might have to go buy a terrarium or a temporary enclosure for them. And then I got Johnny Joestar here, uh, looking really fresh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared of handling him. Uh, I used to handle bugs a lot when I was a kid, but as I got older, they kind of started to freak me out more. I hope these guys can't fly. I think they have wings, but we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll just find out and... Come out here, Johnny. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, look at you. He's big. Apparently they get bigger. And I'm just going to get him on my hand. Oh, don't fall. Oh, he feels so weird. I... Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that's my first time really handling a bug in a long time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Okay, there we go. There he is. Isn't he cute? Sorry, I'm trying to get him in frame. I who up who up playing with a bug right now? You want a banana, little guy? You hungry? All right, well, I'm going to quickly go get like a temporary enclosure for Cookie and Cream. Uh, I think that's Cookie and that one's Cream. So, yeah, I'll just be back real quick. A few moments later. All right, I'm back from the pet store and I got... A little bug terrarium. All right, as you can see, I set up the uh, temporary home for my two beetles, and now we can open pack number two. I think the reason I messed up last time was uh, you can either get an energy or a V-Star card, and I got the V-Star card, so I did shuffle it correctly. So it should still be four to the front. Thrunt. I'm in front. Fuck. Alright, this one should be an energy. Okay, perfect. We're back in business. So we got a fire energy. Ooh, it's hot. Yes, we got the soul rock. That's one of the cards I actually wanted. I wonder if it comes in a hollow. I guess we'll find out. We got a lure module. Uh, is this the right order? Charmeleon. Onyx. Love rock Pokemon. Charmander. We got a Bidoof. We got a Wimpod. Another cool bug. Uh... We got a P-Dove. And for our reverse, we got a Numal. Love that artwork. He's looking really cozy. And for our rare, we got a... Ooh, that's not a bad card at all. A Lapras. And hopefully my camera's <laughs> focused. Fuck, I wonder if there's a way to just uh, disable autofocus. I think there is. Yeah, I'm looking at my camera right now. Anyways, Lapras. All right, I think we have Cookie right here, the uh, male Eastern Rhinoceros Beetle. I think I can tell that it's a male because of the uh, sexual dimorphism. He's got like a little horn and the females don't. So let's just uh, free Cookie from his tomb. Can't forget the gloves. 
And I'll just try to take the tape off as carefully as possible. Ba 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 ba. Beetle shot. Hey, Cookie. I think Cookie's more shy than Johnny, but we'll just get him out there and get a better look at him. Okay, buddy. Oh, he's huge. Yeah, these beetles are more smaller than the uh, smooth stags, but still really cool beetles. And I'm gonna see if I can get him on my hand, but yeah, he's a little shy. Come on, buddy. Cookie, this is your new home, Cookie. <laughs> Just trying to... Come on, Cookie. Yeah, he's way more skittish. Come on, little guy. Yeah, there, there's my finger. Alright, well, here's Cookie, and I feel him vibrating. He's a pretty strong bug. He's got a lot of heft to him. Isn't he just the cutest? Alright, I think it's time we unpack cream now. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, um, Cookie's gonna survive in the- Oh, nope, he got himself back up. Nice job, Cookie. <laughs> Alright, you can't have Cookie without cream, so... Come on, get out there, cream. And one thing I'm worried about, actually, is what if these guys, um, start fucking and have babies? Like, what am I gonna do with a bunch of larvae? Ba 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 ba. Beetle shot. Now let's just open this beautiful gal. Yeah, this is definitely a female one. Just gonna get her on my hand right now. Yeah, as you can see, uh, cream does not have a horn, so that's the gender difference, or I mean the sex difference. Come on, cream. Oh, she's more uh, friendly, and she's more shinier. Oh, all right, cream. It's time to go into the uh, enclosure with Cookie, and uh, no fucking please. All right, it's been about a week and my terrarium finally arrived. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, apparently the tank was supposed to come before the beetles, but I think the original tank got lost in transit. So my beetle guy sent me a new tank. So I appreciate that. And let's just get on with pack number three. And hopefully pull some heat soon. Like I really want like a radiant card or the solar rock card. No, wait, I got the solar rock card. Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, recorded waiting on that tank, but it's all good. Uh, here's the code card, and four to the front. Two, three, four. Yeah, and I'm excited to see what the tank looks like. But, uh, okay, perfect. We got a psychic energy. A unpheasant. Just gonna make sure my camera's focused. A lure module. A pupitar was actually my first shiny Pokemon I ever encountered legitimately, but whatever. Charmander. Apom. Alolan Raticate. Numom Numo A. A Bulbasaur. And I'm still looking out for those Ditto cards. Um, that doesn't appear to be a Ditto card, but that's a Barrel. And it looks like we do got some heat in the back, so... Just a Dragonite V. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -da -bum, bum. And I do think a money shot is appropriate for this segment, so ma 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 money shot. Why is there so much dirt? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, that was uh, that was not a good idea. As you can see, my table is completely covered in dirt now. I was not expecting that. So um, here's the terrarium, and here's a little little moss patch. I'm assuming that goes above like the uh, substrate. Uh, I'm going to quickly uh, do this off camera because it's a mess right now. I'm just going to set that whole tank up and we'll uh, see the final product. So be right back. First of all, uh, don't mind the curse of Gab all over the table. Um, I'll clean that up. And second of all, I finished assembling the terrarium. And it looks really nice. I just realized I look like that fish from Spongebob just holding the cup. But anyways, it's a nice little uh, acrylic tank. Alright, pack number four, but before we open pack number four, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Coleoptera. I have a link to their website down below. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them, I just thought I should definitely give them a shout out because they've been really helping me with this whole beetle stuff and getting into the hobby, so yeah. Uh, if you don't like beetles, they also got like scarabs and millipedes, so... And that's also where I got this terrarium and all the other stuff in this video. Well, I mean, the beetles and the terrarium only. And yeah. You guys should definitely check them out. Link in the description. Please give me the Lunatone card. 
Please give me the Lunatone card. I fucking love Lunatone. One of my favorite Pokemons. That's my favorite. <laughs> Anyways. Um, code card. Oh, shit. Gotta shuffle it first. Haha, <laughs> can't forget the shuffle. One, two, three, four. And we got a dark energy. That's pretty evil. Um, a unpheasant. Another lure module. A pupitar. A lowland radicate. A tranquil. A <laughs> larvitar looking all, looking all evil and mischievous <laughs> what the fuck is that face <laughs> anyways we got a natu cute little bird uh we got an ampy palm um a tranquil and for a rare we got a blissey another blissey wait a minute is this a ditto card one sec uh no that's not a ditto card I, it feels thick so ah, it was worth a try All right, let me just brush that dirt off there. <laughs> Pack number five. And you know what? We haven't got anything good yet. I mean, the last couple of card unpackings, we haven't been really pulling any heat. Just fine, because I don't really like care. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, pull a chase card every time. Like, all I'm asking for is a Lunatone, really. And I feel like there's a Lunatone in this pack. So let's just unpack that Lunatone. The little moon Pokemon. Isn't this commentary interesting? All right, so we got a psychic energy. Uh, hold on, let me get a good focus on that. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, that took way too long. We got a Blanque. A Camerupt. Hey, okay, sorry, it's me again in post-editing. I forgot to mention a funny story about Camerupt, and, like, I just had to share it. It's, it's really funny. So when my friend was little, he made, like, a uh, Camerupt emblem on Black Ops 2, and it, it was, like, the fucked up, the most fucked up shit ever. Um, I don't have it, unfortunately, but I did make a recreation, and on my mama's life, it fucking looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Another lure module. A Natu. Appy Bomb. Or Ambi Bomb. We got a Slowpoke. A Bibarel. Oh shit, there's a Smeargle in the front. Cool. We got a Spinarak. Ooh, not bad. Just a uh, Reverse Venusaur. And our final rare for this episode is. Um, I mean, I didn't mention this, but this was actually one of the, uh, chase cards, so, uh, and I got dirt all over it, so that's, that's cool, but yeah, we got a, this is the first time I ever pulled something, like, worth a lot of money, uh, the Mewtwo V-Star, god, what a great way to end the video, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna quickly go, uh, hard sleeve that card real quick, oh, 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 shit, and, um, fuck it, I haven't done this in a while, so, um, Fuck it, uh, Kiwi screaming at night on the hard case. Now I think it's time I show you guys how to make some, uh, beetle jelly, so I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. So you want to make beetle jelly, huh? Well, luckily for y'all, I found a dope-ass guide from a channel named Aquarimax Pets. I'll, uh, leave a link to the original video down below. Let's start cooking. All right, before we start uh, cooking, I'm gonna list off a couple ingredients y'all are gonna need. So number one is one banana, and you are the banana king, Charlie. <laughs> Shout out to people that get that reference. But anyways, yeah, one banana, preferably ripe. After that, y'all are gonna need um, eight tablespoons of brown sugar. The original guide said to use dark brown sugar, but I honestly don't know what the difference is. I don't really cook. Next, just one tablespoon of honey, pretty self-explanatory. Um, one fourth or one quarter tablespoon of agar powder or agar agar powder as I used to call it. Finally, one cup of water. I'll be using Fiji water because my be ugh, my beetles gotta live a bougie lifestyle. <laughs> All right, for step number one, you're gonna want to take half your water, 
brown sugar, honey, and banana and put all that shit in the blender and just fucking turn it on and start blending. Alright, step two. Add the rest of your water into a pot and let it boil. It's boiled. <laughs> and then add your agar powder and stir for a couple of minutes to make sure it's well dissolved. Um, I heard some people say uh, put the agar powder when the water is cold. I don't know if that helps, but apparently it's supposed to prevent clumping, which did actually happen to me, so I'll let you all be the judge of that. Step three, add your potion that you made earlier, um, the stuff in the blender, and bring it all to a boil and stir for two minutes. It's important to bring it to a boil so it solidifies properly. So yeah, you're going to want to do that. Once it's boiled for a couple of minutes, pour it into a shallow container to let it cool. It's really important, and I cannot stress this enough, to not shake or jar the jelly while it's cooling. If you do that, it might not solidify properly, but no biggie. If it just doesn't solidify properly, just pour it back into the pot and reboil it like in step three, and it should be good next time you pour it. Or, I mean, just keep doing it till it's perfect. Step five, uh, go grab that mason jar with the little uh, anime figurine you have in it. Just dump all that shit in the garbage and use it to store your beetle jelly. And just put it in the refrigerator and it should be good for a couple of months if that's what the guide said. I don't know, just, uh, just watch it. I could be wrong. All right, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in about six months. Peace.